Over the last 15 years, there have been meaningful improvements in the treatments for people living with multiple myeloma thanks to ongoing research and the development of new therapies. Developing new medications can be a long process. It starts with preclinical testing, laboratory research in which scientists first test a new molecule on myeloma cells and then on lab animals. Repeated animal tests are needed to make sure a potential medication is safe before it can be tested in humans in a clinical trial. Only the most promising molecules make it from preclinical testing to clinical trials. Clinical trials are an important step in discovering new treatments for multiple myeloma and as well as new ways to detect and diagnose the disease. As clinical trials are research studies that involve people, the protocols are carefully reviewed to ensure they are safe and ethical. As a result, preclinical testing often takes several years. A clinical trial has up to four phases. Phase 1 trials involve a small number of people, often in the range of 15 to 30, and focus on ensuring the new medication's safety. Phase 1 trials determine the dose of a new therapy that can be safely given, the maximum tolerated dose, and the side effects it may cause. Phase 1 trials determine the balance between dose and side effects, as well as how well each dose works, or efficacy. Phase 2 trials involve more people than Phase 1 trials, and the participants are patients with a particular type or stage of myeloma. Phase 2 trials use the dose that was found to be safe in the Phase 1 trials and look at whether the new therapy is working as expected, in addition to monitoring side effects. Potential new therapies only get to Phase 3 trials if they are proven to be effective and safe with manageable side effects. Phase 3 trials involve a much larger number of people, usually hundreds, who are randomly assigned to receive either the new treatment, new treatment combination, or the standard of care treatment. The standard of care is the available treatment that would have been used without participation in the trial. Those who are assigned or placed on the standard of care treatment are considered to be in the control group and those on the new therapy in the test group. Since the people in the control group receive the same approved treatment that they would have received if they weren't in a trial, occasionally this means no treatment if the standard of care for a specific stage of myeloma is observation. People are randomly assigned into the test or control groups so that the effects of the new treatment can be compared with the standard of care treatment. This also ensures that the only difference between the groups are the treatments and not other factors, such as the severity of disease, people's personal characteristics, or any factor that might influence their treatment outcome. If a new therapy is working well with tolerable side effects, it can be considered for approval by Health Canada to be prescribed within the country. Once approved, it may still take up to two years or even longer for provincial governments to start covering the cost of the medication. However, you can obtain the medication through a clinical trial, a private insurance plan, a compassionate use program offered by the pharmaceutical company, or by paying for the medication yourself. Sometimes, even after the medication is approved for use in Canada, Phase 4 trials can be conducted to determine whether the medication is as effective and safe for long periods when used in the real world as part of routine care. From start to finish, this entire medication development process typically takes between 10 and 15 years. While this might sound like a long process, clinical trials are designed to figure out what treatments or treatment combinations work best for people living with multiple myeloma. While clinical trials are key for advancing research and developing new medications, participation is a personal decision and always voluntary. You should weigh the potential risks and benefits with your healthcare team in order to make the best decision for yourself. Participating in a trial may gain you access to a new therapy that may not otherwise have been available or reimbursed at that time. Before you participate in a clinical trial, you will be asked to review an informed consent form with the clinical trial team. This document is used to explain the potential risks, side effects, and all the key facts about the trial. You can review the form by yourself or with family and write down any questions or concerns you may have. 
Before signing, you will be given an opportunity to receive answers to all of your questions. Once you sign the document, you can still choose to drop out of the trial if at any time you decide it isn't the best fit for you. If you decide to participate in a trial, there are certain conditions that need to be met in order to enroll. These are called eligibility criteria, and they might include your age, your general health, the type and stage of your myeloma, other pre-existing medical conditions you may have, or previous treatments you have received. If you are eligible and are enrolled in the trial, your overall well-being and response to treatment is carefully monitored by the research team on an ongoing basis. Therefore, you may receive more tests during the trial and have more doctor visits compared to the regular care setting. Even though clinical trials are designed to minimize risks and ensure safety, there are potential risks, such as unexpected side effects, or the study treatment may not be as effective as the standard of care therapy. Remember, clinical trials are voluntary. You have the right to drop out of a clinical trial at any time for any reason should you decide that it isn't right for you. In addition, the research team may decide to remove you from the trial if the treatment is not working for you or is causing severe side effects. Talk to your healthcare team to find out if there is a trial that is available and right for you. And if you are interested in finding a clinical trial in your area to participate in, check out Myeloma Canada's Personal Clinical Trial Finder at www.myeloma.ca forward slash find trials.